Hi again, it's Mrs. Leonardo. Now that you've written your literary analysis and identified the claims, evidence, and reasoning and conclusion sentences for each paragraph, it's time to share your work with a partner in your class and have them peer review your work. Let's get started. In your document, you will see on the top right hand corner in Google Docs, the blue share button. You are going to share this with two people. I am going to allow you to share this with anyone in the class. Click the blue button, and here is where you will type in the name of the individual. So I'm going to share mine with Miss Stillmaker, Mrs. Stillmaker. So I type in her email and I click send. Well, since I'm doing a tutorial and Mrs. Stillmaker is not here with me, I can't really show you what it looks like on her end. However, here's how you check to see if you have the incoming document. So let's say I'm Mrs. Stillmaker. As Mrs. Stillmaker, I would then go to Google Drive. You can get to Drive easily by typing in drive.google.com or you can open up a new tab. And right here in the app launcher, right here in the right hand corner, you click on that and then you can click on Drive. So there are two ways. You can type in drive.google.com or click on the app launcher, launcher and select Drive. So then once you're there, you click Shared with me and then the document would be right here. Of course, I'm not going to have that document there because it's mine. If it Mrs. Stillmaker she actually checking hers, she would see it right there. Okay? So, you've shared it. Now, as the person who's doing the peer editing, here's how you're going to edit. You are going to be looking for capitalization, punctuation, specifically commas, periods, semicolons, and apostrophes, okay? And you're going to be looking to make sure that the person that you're reviewing you're going to make sure that they have transitional phrases. Okay, if you're not sure what transitional phrases are, I'll include a link to a video. Plus, you can look in your interactive student notebook to help you out. Now, I have Mrs. Leonardo's work. I'm pretending I'm Mrs. Stillmaker. The first thing I do, I go right here underneath the share button and I change the mode from editing to suggesting. This is important because I don't want to change Mrs. Leonardo's work. I want to suggest that she makes these changes. So I'm peer editing. Notice this turns green. Now I'm going to start reading. So the first sentence, I see Christopher Paul Curtis. So right here, I'll click. And I'm going to suggest this to be capitalized. So notice right here, replace P with P. Then I'm going to move on. Curtis's lowercase needs to be capitalized. Replace lowercase c with capital C, and I keep going. And so I'm reading aloud to myself as the peer reviewer. Bud Cole lives in Flint, Michigan. I notice here's the city, here's the state, but there needs to be a comma here. So I'm going to suggest a comma. And it tells me right here on the side, add. Okay, then I keep going. And I'm reading each and every single word, and I'm trying to make sure that my the person I'm reviewing is doing what they need to do. Now I'm looking here. I notice they do not have a transitional phrase here. So one way Bud survives is through line. I could have the person that I'm reviewing. I could suggest to them. Okay, I could insert a comment. Insert comment. Please insert. An appropriate transitional word or phrase comment. And I keep going. And I'm reading, I'm reading, and then I realize, oh, but lies, this word is spelled correct incorrectly. So I can do two things. I can insert a comment here saying this word is spelled correctly, or I can press delete. Okay, and then I can say repress, replace that word with lies. Okay, but lies in order to make sure. Oh, I see another word. Again, I can insert a comment or I can delete the word. 
and say you need to replace that with the word sure. Okay? And so I go through and I'm reading each and every single part. Oh, here's something else. Survive is spelled incorrectly. It needs to be spelled S-U-R-V-I-V-E. And notice, it might not make sense to how I'm getting rid of this. All I'm doing is clicking over here on this side. Click. All right. So that's what you're doing for peer editing. You're just going through your partner's work. You're making sure all of your suggestions are popping from the side. You're entering comments. You're looking for capitalization, punctuation. Okay. So then for me, let's say I get my work back. Now it's time to make those changes. Now I change the mode. I'm going to be editing the document directly. Notice here's my suggestion. I'm going to delete it. I'll make that a capital P. Delete that, capital C. Here, add a comma. And so I'm just going through and changing everything that the peer editor suggested that I do. Okay, so this needs to be L-I-E-S. This needs to be S-U-R-E. This needs to be S-U-R, oops, I need a space. S-U-R-V-I-V-E. I need a transitional word here. Okay. Okay. And then that means if I'm going to make this first and I'm going to resolve this comment, I then need to make this a lowercase here. Okay, then after I'm done, after I've gone through, I've made sure each paragraph has a transitional word or phrase interspersed throughout, and I make sure everything sounds good, there's no red lines, I've gone to tools, I've checked my spelling, there's no spelling suggestions, then I'm not going to turn the paper with all this, this color. I'm then going to go to edit, select all, and now I'm going to change the font back to black. Okay, now everything's taken care of. I'm all finished. All right, if you have any questions, let me know.